So in the third and final part of Lesson 75, we're closing the book on the subject of draw spin. I'm here on the fifth tee at Royal Troon. They're getting ready for the open. We have a grandstand behind the green. So if I'm hitting a draw, my eye is going to rest on this edge of the grandstand. If I'm hitting fade, I'd be aiming at the left. Now, because I'm this side of the ball and the arc is from the inside, it's not an uncomfortable feeling for me. So I aim middle of the stand, I go an inch around the circle, and now I'm going to just shape the shot from the right side of the grandstand. So I've worked the ball nicely from right to left. I'm just going to catch the green side trap, but you can see the idea I was shaping the shot. Now I probably find that my send line wasn't exactly what I wanted. Not bad. Started it on the line that I wanted, didn't quite go through it, but you can see my start point was very good. Now, if I'm going to hit cut to the same shot, to the same target, again, I'm going to aim neutrally round the circle of fraction. And I'm going to start the ball on the left side of the grandstand. Okay, not enough club for the job now that I hit fade, but I'm quite happy about the shot because I did what I explain to you. So when we have a look at the shot now. You'll see that fade started on the left hand side of the stand and it didn't move as much because fades aren't as volatile. Quite easy to move the draw, it's creative, there's lots of spin. Uh, the fade is a quieter mechanism. So what I'm getting you to understand here is that when you're choosing fade and draw you have a slightly different emphasis. So with draw spin the send is easy. The thing you've got to get right is the shape. However, with the fade, because of this side of the ball, it's not as easy. You have to go around the circle. You've got to aim at 11 o'clock if you're going to start the ball. So the point being is you shape a draw shot and you send a fade. You got it? So with a draw, you shape a draw, round the circle and you send a fade. It's very important that you have a clear picture of where the ball is going to start. So once you set up and you've loaded, where you start the ball is key. But when you're going for draw spin, then you think about the draw. So the last few months, the mini series, learn the seven shot and you get your swing for free. And the seven shots were the low and the high, the draw and the fade, the pitch, the chip and the putt. So we've covered off the first four. First of all, of a square stance, but down the handle, I taught you the low shot and we drilled the ball forward. Very helpful in wind and from under the trees at Woburn. I then explained to you that if your wrists were active, you can hit the ball a lot higher. So here we go. Didn't lose any accuracy. In fact, probably gained it. Ball's much higher. Then I taught you how to draw the ball. We exaggerated it by going around the circle a little bit but we knew the ball was going to start at the right and all we had to do was spin it back with our hand action. There's the ball starting out to the right and coming back the target line. And then the fourth shot we've dealt with was the fade. Round the circle, aiming left and now all I have to do is live across the ball from out to in. Ball starts left and cuts back. So. Low, high, draw and fade is dealt with. In the next three sections, we're going to go to chipping, pitching and putting.